it. I'm here tonight to talk to you about Scratch. It's a computer programming language for kids. It's free, it's from MIT, and it's great. I'm going to talk about why we need it, what it does, and how you, yes, you, can save the world with it. <laughs> okay, so here's the problem. Computer science major enrollments are down by more than half this past decade in North American universities. It does not bode well for our competition in the global marketplace. And I figure the solution starts at home. So I figured I would start by teaching my son program. That's Lenny. Yeah, he's a handful. Um, so I did a little Googling. What kind of programming language can keep the interest of a young kid? And they are out there. Big fancy 3D affairs like Alice and Star Logo TNG. Unfortunately, they're also full of complications, areas where a young programmer can get lost or confused. I wanted something a little friendlier. Enter Scratch. Um, it's uh, the most polished and bug-free. Uh, it's the easiest to share your finished work, and it's the most popular. There's a thriving community sur surrounding Scratch and its website. Uh, the core concept of Scratch is the sprite, these little animated characters that can move around the screen. Uh, they can turn in circles, they can grow bigger or smaller, uh, you can do color effects on them, they can leave little colorful pen trails behind them. Uh, Scratch also includes a paint program so that you can paint new backgrounds and sprites. Um, and there's a sound recorder so that you can use your computer's microphone to uh, record new audio clips to use in your finished program. A uh, lot of fun. Um, click a button in Scratch and your finished project is uploaded to the website. Uh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. They included a programming language in there. Uh, there it has everything you expect from a real language. Uh, loops, variables, if statements, all that good stuff. But in the form of colorful blocks that kids just drag and drop together. Uh, really easy. It's not possible to make a mistake, so they're free to explore how they like. Uh, the website hosts finished pro projects. Uh, friends and relatives can go and view them right there in the browser without needing to download anything extra. It's a great tool, and Lenny loved it when I shared it with him, so I wanted to, to show it to more kids. When I heard the gameplay, the co working space was looking to do a class for kids, I had to recommend Scratch to them. Set up for the class was a piece of cake. We put it on a few desktops. Uh, drag, uh, drag and drop to install it very easy, and we just promoted it a little bit on Twitter and Upcoming.org. And for that little bit of effort, the turnout was spectacular. All our desktops we had set up were occupied, all the available table space was filled by parents and kids who had brought in laptops. Uh, and basically all we had to do was sit back, give a quick demo, and then make ourselves available to answer questions, and the kids really ran with it. We had, for finished projects, we had skateboarders that went on half pipes. We had squirrels that moved back and forth in response to the arrow keys. We had colorful geometric shapes. We had snowmen that bounced around the screen and then their heads flew off. <laughs> we don't dictate the content. Uh, we had friendly programs that asked for your name. We had mountain climbing cats. Just a huge variety of creative ideas. Uh, and people must have had a good time because the reviews on Twitter afterwards were universally positive. Uh, more importantly, though, the kids started to show off their finished work. Um, we had a report of uh, one 12-year-old boy who showed it off to his best friend. Another girl posted a link to her finished project on her website. Yeah, she's got a dot .com. Um, and best of all, we had parents who kept the ball rolling. Uh, Tom, one of the parents, showed it off to uh, his Cub Scout pen. Um, we had Mike, one of the uh, teachers from the original class, set it up in the computer lab at Arcadia Neighborhood Learning Center, and they're making that part of their curriculum this year. They're also doing another class on Saturday at uh, Desert Coke Camp. Definitely recommend you check that out. Um, so, now, here's what you can do to uh, continue things. Go grab it. I'll have the uh, website address at the end of the presentation. It's a free download. Button's right there on the site. Get it, play around with it a little bit so you're ready to answer questions. Then consider giving your kids a turn. If you ever want to teach a class on it, there are materials on the site you can just print out, posters to promote your class, activity cards for the kids to do while they're there. It's so easy and so much fun, there's no good reason not to share it. Go have fun with it and show it to a kid. You may be kickstarting the career of a young computer science teacher. Thank you. Yeah.